Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we're going to decorate a lantern. Now I've got this lantern, I've had it for quite some time. I think I bought it from the range and I think I also bought one from B&M as well. So you can actually buy them in loads of different shops. It's not Christmassy at the moment. What I thought I would do with you guys is just add some ribbon and a few little things just to make it look really Christmassy and festive. And this technique you can do with all sorts of things. So once you see how to do it, you can decorate lots of different things in this way. So it's um, something that I've been looking forward to doing and I'm looking forward to showing you. So let's go now into the craft room and have a look how to do it. To start with, I'm going to show you how to make the bow for this small lantern. And I've got a bigger one as well, which I'm going to do in a second. So what you need to do to start with, I'm just going to move the camera down just to show you a bit better. Right, to start with, what you need to do is to get the end of your ribbon. And depending how long you want your tails on it, depends how long you leave this part. You're always better off leaving more than less. So because you can always cut it off, but you can't stick it back on. So you start by doing maybe 8, 10 or 12 inches, whatever you want to leave. And then you grab there like that. Once you've grabbed that section, you have to do a little like bobble over like that. And that's the center. That will be the center of your bow. Now, as we're doing it, it might get a little bit squashed, but we can always puff it up at the end. That's absolutely fine. So then what we need to do, that's the center. You can measure these if you want to. You go up like that, a little bit higher than your center. And then you grab it at the bottom. So you're grabbing it all the time. You might find this tricky if you've got arthritis or you have problems with your hands, but you can buy bow makers and things, I think. So once you've done that side, we're going to go and we're going to do the other side. So we're going to give it a twist because it needs to be facing the right way. And this side is going to come up. We're going to go the same size as this one. Again, you can measure it if that helps. And we're going to grab it at the bottom down there so we're holding it all the time so we've got that kind of look and if you find that you don't do them the same size it won't really matter too much then after that we're going to do another one but we're going to do it so it's this this way so always make sure that your pattern is facing outwards go like that we're going to hold it there and then we're going to do another one here so we've got one there and one there twist your ribbon so it's facing the right way and then we're going to go up and do another bow there so those two are the same and i know some people go bigger you can go like you can make your bows bigger as they go further out but we're going to do these the same size i think so that's that bit and now we've done that bit there, we're going to do another two at the top here. So we're doing exactly the same thing. So we're going up and round. I'm going to pinch it at the bottom there. And make sure that's twisted outwards and go up and over like that so if you can see we've got that kind of shape and then these bits here are extra so we need to cut that so it's the same size as the other tail and then we need to hold all this together so I'm going to put two things to hold this together I'm going to go around it with I nearly said a cocktail stick but that's really not the right word I'm going to go around it with a pipe cleaner so in the first instance I'm going around this bottom part okay that's the first place I'm going just tie it as tight as you can get it right and then the next pipe cleaner is going to go through the center one you know the first bow that we did is going to go through there so get your pipe cleaner push it through and then put that straight down the middle straight through the middle of those and tie that as well so you're just kind of giving it a bit of extra security and a bit of extra strength and the, this is not glued so you can if you want to when you've finished with Christmas unravel it and then you can use it again and I'm just going to snip off 
these extra bits and while I've got my scissors I'm going to fold this over and cut that into a point as well. Now incidentally this ribbon came from the range in case you wanted some yourself. Now then they look all scrunchy like that and it looks like your dog sat on it. But what you have to do is fluff them out like this and then you can fasten it on top of your lantern or you can put them on your tree you can make a really big one and you could do it as a tree topper that would look pretty cool so let me just move the camera up to show you the lantern now so we can fasten it on with the bit of pipe cleaner that we um that we wrap round so just make sure your ribbons facing the right way and just tie that around the top I've just snipped the ends off there and then you can just and then just neaten it up and use the time just to to tidy it and if you find that you're your tails are not the same length you can always just trim them so I think mine are not quite the same just primp it all out I'm going to cut this one a bit shorter because I think it's slightly different and there we go so that is so 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 simple and you can just decorate you know you can decorate loads of things in this way so that's the first one I'll just show you now how to decorate and put a bow on a larger lantern right now we've got this big old booty here so what we're going to do is put some greenery and some bows and ribbons and all sorts of things on this one so to start with I'm going to put the greenery on now this came from the craft shop in Clendon no I've used it before on a different project it was 375 but I've used some sprigs so it's not this is not as big as it is it, it is bigger than this so I'm just going to cut off a couple of sprigs like that and I'm going to tie this to the actual lantern itself so these are bend round but I want them so they're facing downwards just tie them on the top you can also use florist wire as well if you want to use that and they will wriggle about while you're doing it but it's fine you can um, always sort it out at the end so that's your greenery to start with then what i'm going to do is to make a bow to go on the top right and for that i'm going to use this tool this came from the craft shop as well it's um you could even cut up like a net curtain or some netting that would work absolutely fine i'm going to do quite traditional colors on this so i'll be using reds so with it you can just leave yourself a bit to start with the same as we did on the other bow depending how long you want the tails and all we're going to do is we're going to loop round so these are going to be bigger loops than the next bow that i'm going to do and you just go round like this and what you're doing is you're grabbing it at the bottom can you see that part there i'm holding that part so i'm just going to loop up go round like that all the same size loops or there or thereabouts and we can puff it all out so it looks all neat afterwards so we're not going to worry too much Right, so I've got eight loops there. It looks a bit of a mess, but it'll be all right on the night, as I say. Just cut off another bit so your tails are the same. And then we're going to go round with another pipe cleaner. I've only got a pink one, sorry. So we're going to go round there. Again, you can use florist wire if you want. And I'm going to twist it. You won't see this, so it won't matter, but twist that round there so we're back at the top we're going to leave the tails so they come down and don't look don't worry that it looks like it's been sleep all night and it's a bit messy it will be absolutely fine once we've we've got it done so just tie it on right so once that part has tied on don't 
worry if it looks like it's got bed hair and it's all squashed in because this is just the back part so just do it so you've got your tails that come down and you've sort of primped it so it's kind of in the right place because we're going to put another bow over the top so that's going to be kind of the background and for that we're going to use this tartan colour as well so we're going to go quite traditional as I said and we're going to make a bow exactly the same way that we made the other one for the other lantern. Right, for this one, I'm going through the middle with a piece of the ribbon because we'll use that to tie it on. So I'm going straight through that middle one. It's exactly the same thing that we did with the other bow. I've tied, obviously you saw me tie off the bottom part there. And we're going to go straight through the bottom and this will help us to tie it on the back and it won't you won't see all the other bits of pipe cleaner. So just cut a bit off. And this part, I'm just going to tie, this is the bit that I've just put through, I'm going to tie it so it stays just where I need it. And these are the bits that I'm going to use to tie on the back. These bits here are the bits that dangle down. And we'll just fasten that on and primp it all up. So this is going to go in the middle of the red that we've put on. And don't forget we've got this nice piece of ribbon that we can go around the top and so if it's in your living room your hallway you're not going to see any nasty pipe cleaners you're just going to see a nice bow around the back so once that's on again it's a case of just primping it up you, you've not really got a very good angle there it looks awful but in reality it actually looks quite nice so we're just going to primp it we're going to pull these back bits up so this is behind, primp up the bow. And then these bits down here, I'll show you what to do with them as well in a sec. Right, this is such a dodgy angle, I'm really sorry. So at the bottom here, we've obviously done the corner bits. You can do that on these as well, if you want to. So I'll just snip that. You don't have to do that on this bit, but I'll do it so it's the same. And then with these bits here, what you can do is get the end and just roll it up slightly like that pull it down like that and then you've got your curl just do the same thing for the other one so you just roll it up then you get the middle part if you can find it and then you just pull it out it pulls down like that and you can sort of open them out a little bit so they're not quite so tight and that is the decoration and that was all stuff that I had I had all this spare from 
kind of previous years and I've just put it all together and obviously these are the bits from the London No Craft Shop. So what I'm going to do is move it now so you can see it a little bit better because the lighting and the camera angle is awful. So I'll just show you them both now all finished and all ready. So here we go, that's them both finished. I think the lighting's so much better up here because the red looked a bit orangey down in the craft room but you can actually see the proper lighting of the bow there so I think the red looks really nice and I love it teamed up with the the ribbon that we've got with so there we go i've put the light on the lantern for you as well just so you can get a full effect and it will look really nice when the light's off and it gets a bit dark later so that's the large one there and also next to it you can see the other one which is slightly smaller smaller and ebony did come up with a really good idea if we had two that were matching they'd look quite nice either side of the fireplace so that would be quite good if we had those but I hope I've inspired you to have a go and I hope you have a go at making this bow. It is really pretty and it's quite easy to do. A bit fiddly when you've got to hold it, um, but it is quite easy to do and it looks really pretty. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay and I will see you again soon. You take care. Bye for now.